continue to sit. We're going to uh, welcome the Pastor servant Elise. of God. And that's Pastor Elise. Let him walk and may God bless him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. May Jesus be praised. Are you happy today? If you're very happy, just greet your friend and tell them, welcome into the church of God or temple of God. May God be praised. Because he, uh, he protected us on all these days that have passed. Those people who took journeys, uh, he protected them. Those who ask for what they ask, they, he has provided. And then others, he continued to protect them. And they're waiting for the answers. Amen. Amen. And that God has protected us. That brought us so that we could hear his word. I said that let us give glory to Amen. him. Amen. That God is to be praised. To see that we're breathing and we're alive today. That God is to be praised. Amen. 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 Let us go give, give glory to God. He's worthy Hallelujah. of praise and our, our praise. Our God does good for us. Let us hear the word of God. And let us hear what God has prepared for us today. I know that once you speak, uh, the person that spoke, he brought us good words. And I know that even these words, you will listen. And let us also open our Bibles. We will ask. We're going to read the 1 Corinthians. Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We're going to ask our evangelist, chapter 15, that is line 51, 58. Abakuri no bambere bice 15 murongo wa 58 uwonyine gusa Nuko bene data bakundwa mukomere mutanyeganyega murushaho iteka gukora imirimo y'umwami kuko muzi uko umuhati wanyu atari ubusa ku mwami Amen Kadosubiremo nuko bene data bakundwa Mukomere mutanyega nyega. Murushaho iteka gukore imirimo y'umwami. Kuko muzi yuko umuhati wanyu atari ubusa kurinde ku mwami wacu. Ikaba dusomere mu cyongereza. Abakuri no bambere bice 1558. It says therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. 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 We're going to talk about this word that we just heard. We see two words that we need to talk about. That be, uh, stay strong, stand strong with the, uh, and steadfast. 
And then the second word, to do the God's work. And uh, in this, these words are telling us to be movable. Shaken. Or to, to be uh, unshaken. Shaken. Kunyega nyega. To be shaken. Mujirundi murabji umva. Na wanya mujirundi wa vugango kunyega nyega. And I see that in Kirundi they said uh, in, uh, the same thing, shaken. Na wanya mujirundi wa vugango kunyega nza. And some people said Nibijara? that word. Eh, kunyega nyega nuva mwese mujirundi umva. To be shaken. Anyuma mujisikuwa ira bidet kwa mjibu vugango te. Urabji umva. Kutikisika. And we know that the word to be shaken, that's the word we're going to talk about. To be shaken. Amen. Amen. To say that this, this, this little, this little uh, stand in front of me, if I, if, if, if I move it, what, what am I doing? I'm shaking it. That means I'm shaking it. Isn't that what right? I might shake it this way or that way. When a tree is standing, and when, uh, uh, when, when the wind comes, when the wind blows, what is going to happen to the tree? It's going to start shaking. Amen. That is the word we're going to talk about. To be shaken. We see the word that we have we read. That steadfast, being unmovable or being not and continue to do God's work. Amen. Amen. And Paul wrote this for the Corinthians. And that means he saw that the Corinthians were weak in the spirit. Or he saw them. And then he will see that they, they're kind of being shaken in their journey. If you are taking a journey, or when you're praying, or when you are following God, there is things that happen to us, and you will find that a Christian is has fallen, or he, they have been shaken in their journey. In this journey that we are taking to follow Jesus Christ so that we can see what he promised us, it is for us to stay strong and for us not to be shaken. The things that shake us are there. But we need to fight it and win over it. Amen. There's things that uh, always shake Christians. There's, uh, uh, and it shakes our salvation, our belief, our faith. It will shake the works that we do. But the word of God tells us this. Stay strong. Without being shaken. Because, uh, because the, your journey is to stay strong. And this word that, that, that said the last, that our works, the, the, the strength that we put in, it is not nothing before God. We're not working for nothing. Amen. The things that shake Christians are there. And uh, life can shake you. And, and there are peop, many people in America, they get here, they come here and then they feel like they just arrived in a place. And then they feel like they, they, they're going to get here and start collecting many things. Me, when I was in Africa, and people used to tell me that people work for $15 an hour. And then in Africa, I would just write out <laughs> their money. And I said, man, this is a lot of money. I will work for this. And 
and, uh, and, and, and once I got here, and I, I will be saved. Other people will say this. It is just to collect as many as you can. And don't you see that one person just gave this other person 500 or 1,000? That is why. So why would we why in America and not get the money? But once you change, uh, the, your, when you get here and you see that, and then you come here have, having said this, that what God has done for me, where God has uh, taken me from, for God who brought me here, I will serve him for sure. And I will be with him in all things. Whether it is in his work, I will continue serving him. For these things that God has done for me, I will also serve him. Once you get here, and you start working, and you find the things that you agreed to do, they start working you even on Sundays. You start working. And you start to shake. And I said that let me follow these uh, dollars. The things I promised God, I would do it later. And uh, you get here. Those, and the dollars you say you're going to work every hour. Once you do it, once you work for it, and then the week comes and you pay you, or after two weeks they pay you, they will give you in one hand, another one tells you pay us back. And bills are telling you pay us back. And then it says uh, they say that, hey, pay all these bills. And, and the things you ate, Pay back. Many little things. And, and it, it will take away your paycheck. You pay your insurance and you, feel, you see all the money go. And all the money that uh, you, you just uh, ask for. You see the paycheck you receive, um, the amount. You can't even find a small amount to help your friend back in Africa. You start to shake. And then you say that, is this what I came to do? And you say that this is really the life? That how, this is really how it is? Some people start to say that America is hard. And you see that you, you start to check, uh, you're praying, you're not praying as much. That let me continue. Even if I pray only Sundays, I will go and then go another time. You have started to shake. Hallelujah. Amen. Words can shake you. People can talk about you. And, and you may face a lot of problems. And then they even talk about things you cannot do. Those things will shake you. And then you can't find a way to, uh, to And then you see that a person can lie about you. And you can't even explain yourself. And you can't find a way to explain yourself. And a person can tell you that you, you, you have a sin against this person and you, it caused them to be arrested. And then if a person says that you sin against your friend and they lie about you, how would you explain it? What sign would you show that you did not sin against them? That by they showing that this person is in jail. Eugene, how would you explain this? If they say that, hey, you, it's your fault that Posyan is in jail. And they will explain exactly how you did it. And it's already known to all people that you're the one, you're the cause. Can you defend yourself against that? You cannot find that. Any when those words 
come to you. And when you were already a Christian. And they may even lie even though they're an evangelist. If you are an evangelist or, pastor, or if, you, if you are an administration or a deacon that you work together with. In your Christianity, what's going to happen? You're going to start to shake. If it's singing, I quit. And for, for a person that sings with for them to lie about me, for a pastor who has worked with to lie about me, because you can't find an explanation, you're going to start to shake. And you're going to feel like you need to uh, just quit your faith because of words. And you're going to find a way to look for but the word of God tells us this that our friends stay strong without being shaken. Christians, let us not be shaken. The things that shake us are there. The the promises that have not happened yet. There's, there's things that are causing many people to shake. Many people think about this. That what, people, what God told me. Why isn't he fulfilling it? Isn't he, is he God really there? Is, is God really doing his uh, work? And you start to shake. You start to question God. Is God really there? Is God really uh, there? That God God talk about? But stay strong without being shaken. God Hallelujah. is there. Our God is there. Hallelujah. Once you, once you stay strong and you do not, you do not shake. Hallelujah. The answers we find you. Give applause to God. Being sick can shake you. And it will shake you. It will shake you very deep. Many people would start to, to be prayed for and they will be healed. But and they would they will pray to God and they will see answers. But you when you when you pray, you will receive better uh, better outcome. Even though you do God's work, and the work, the sickness can cause you to shake, and you will go to the hospital, and it's not possible to be healed. And before, when you were in Africa, and you say that when I go in America, that my sickness will be over. And when once you hear, they will use everything. And you see that it's not possible. It's not possible. It's hard for you. And it's hard. And you will, can't find an answer. And many times you start questioning God. Why hasn't God given me an answer? Why, why has God forgotten me? And you start to think many things in your heart. And you, see, and you start to question, is God really there? And why isn't he answering me? And why isn't he fulfilling his promises? You start to shake. And then uh, well, you start to ask yourself, maybe I should just stop praying. I should stop praying altogether. I should just die. That, is, that means you have uh, gotten in a position where you start to shake. And even your many things can shake you. You can ask a woman, your wife, and your wife can be a great temptation to you. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the temptation of your wife can go and shake you. And also you ask a one a, a man, and your man can be a temptation. You start to shake. Even though God given you a good husband, but when you see that they were a good husband, he would do, he would do things to you that you did not expect. He would do things to you that are very bad and you start to shake and, and, you, you, that, and you start to want and you see that it's starting to shake you. Many people start to say this. 
that a house that the home that, that they say is like honey it is, is it this that I'm seeing with my eyes the good things I, I should just not have gotten married that, that means you have shaken. Things have come and they have shaken you. And this is to say that when things are being shaken, it starts to move from where it was before. When, 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 when you are shaken, you are being moved from the time you are in. And many people are attempted by being wanted. And it is, it is shaking you being wanted. Even though you know that this was a, that there was an answer that you were supposed to receive. Even, even your own uh, family can shake you. And then you will give birth to kids while you love them very much. But, and you will give them uh, many things while loving them. But once you get to 18 years, those kids, your kid doesn't even look at the things that they do, that all the nights that you didn't sleep, and your kid doesn't even think about it. Even, uh, even uh, on 18, I said that I have my own will, and they will tell you these words. And you say that, Lord, is this really the family you get me? You start to shake. And you say that I should just stay in Africa. These kids will not be doing this to me. You have started to shake. Hallelujah. It's to say that even depth can shake you. That's just depth. And you can you find ways to pay for them. And it's hard. And you start to shake. Prayer. You pray. And you start to get to a point where you stop. Because you have started to shake. Hallelujah. Amen. But the word of God tells us this. That my beloved. Stay strong and without being unmoved or shaken. When a singer shakes. And then a, when a pastor shakes. Or an evangelist that shakes. You can see that our pastor was just sitting here in our honor. But you can find us shaking too. You will see that in a chair of honor. But in our faith we are shaking. And to say that pa uh, this pastor, why is it hard? Should I stop? There are people like that who are shaking. And you see that in, 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 as a deacon, you are being shaken. Because you see that the deacons, your friends, they are not following uh, this work as much as you. You start to shake in the work you do. But continue Hallelujah! Amen. Don't be shaken. Stay in your position in your time. Christians, don't be shaken. Choir members, don't be shaken. Stand strong. And, and all those people with you stand strong. So that you, you don't be not shaken. So that you can stand strong. And continue to offer to God. If you, if you continue to come here. If you continue to give, continue to give. There are people who have been shaking. And they, they, they stop giving. And there are people who are, who are shaken. And they stop singing. Even. There are people who are, see things are hard. And then they, see, they put their work on the side. That means you have, you have shaken. Once you have shaken, and you shake very hard, and you see sin is not a problem to you. And when it happens, you still see a problem. When, when it happens, the sin, Satan shows you that there's no sin at all. 
But when you see that you are shaken, just remember this word. And Paul said this to the Corinthians. Stay strong without being unmoved. Hallelujah! And don't let Hallelujah. anything shake you. Just... And if you pray, continue to pray. If you continue to work two days, continue to work and continue to sing Continue to sing. May God be praised. There's one thing that is very strong and that many Christians have done. And when you have a, a greed, you have did many deeds. What a suye. And you have uh, you have went to visit. What a cause of You have done great work. But when, when things are shaking you, all the things you forget. You start to wipe it out down. And the last work. It is the one that, that was supposed to give you the things you desired or the things that you. And that is, uh, that's when things get hard for you. That your work is the one that's going to do great things. If you did good works and later you do bad works and then you, you went from this uh, this life is what doing bad. You, you, that means you ended your work very badly. Amen. Amen. To go to the second word. Amen. 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 Ariko ibyo nkora zakomeza kubikora kugira ngo nkure urwitwazo bashaka kubashaka impamvu yo guhamya ko bameze nkatwe mu byo birata Amena Paulo ati ariko ibyo nkora ngo nzagira ne turi kumwemwe Paul saying that I, I will continue. I will continue to do it. Paul says that, that even when it's hard, that it, 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 everything that I do, I will continue doing or he will continue doing it. So continue doing the work you do. If you pray, continue praying. If you continue to give, continue to give. If you continue to visit the sick, continue to visit the sick. If you continue to pray for people, continue to pray for them. If you continue praying, continue doing so. If you, whatever you do, continue. Don't let anything shake you. Hallelujah. Amen. In, 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 the, in the book of songs that I will always be a Christian I will always be a Christian all times even if people laugh at me or people uh, or the country laugh at me I will always be what? I will always be a Christian since when? Since it Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's not be shaken. Hallelujah. So we, uh, and we we'll continue to serve God until we die. May God give Hallelujah. give a plus to God. Amen. 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 So that let us be careful about being shaken. The things that shake us are there. 
The things I say are just few things. Maybe you face some things that shook you. And this shook you very well. And then so you started doing, uh, taking action. And, that, and those things you have in, in your heart. And there are people who they were shaken in their hearts. They feel like there's no strength. They, they feel like the, in, in, the things of God not, it doesn't make them happy anymore. They feel like they just do it to do it without approaching it carefully. And, and in this case, we need to stand strong without, without being shaken. And while we do the work of God, so that in, in, in our position, uh, so that we just face the Lord. Sometimes you do the work and you see that there's nothing, there's no answer and then nothing God has to give you an answer. But you continue to serve God. Uh, this uh, old person died and before he died he, told, he called his, ch his children and tells them this that I'm going that I'm going but I have my uh, wealth. And I want to give you my wealth. So just take this very well. Don't take uh, any of my wealth and sell it. Especially the garden that I give you. Take care of it very carefully. Don't sell that garden. Uh, there's gold inside. If you, if you sell the garden in that gold, you will give, be giving away all the wealth. And then he told them that this garden, I'll give it to you. And i stop you from selling it. Once that old person died, the kids say this. Since, since the Lord, uh, since our, our, our father says this, so they went to look for the gold that he, that he mentioned. They couldn't find the gold. And they, they, they start to have a meeting to say that let us uh, go ahead and uh, sell this garden. And where, where the father was, maybe there's something that he's hiding in this garden. And the kids went to look for it uh, while having a lot of strength. And they continued to have motivation because the, it was a big garden. Uh, so, they, so they say, continue to be motivated. So and they continue to have Barakomeza, barakora. and they continue to work. And once they, once they uh, lose their strength, and then their friend will say, continue. Maybe it's uh, in front of us. And they continue to look for it. And they will look for it well. And then they, they saw that the, uh, they was no gold in the garden. And then they, they start saying in a meeting that so let us put the years. And they, they put years. And then whenever they saw and, and, and they, those grew and it became right. And then they, they, and once they arrived and they were very shocked. They eat, they ate. They put in stocks. And then they eat that food for a long time. And they even sold some. Because it was a big garden. And they, they, they found great wealth from it. And they did not lie. 
They continue to work. But the time came. And they, they did so many wealth come to them. And they, they, saw they became very rich people. And for us as we serve the Lord. If you are working and you without look without having received answers, just know that Hallelujah. you will receive your, your answers when we get in heaven. And don't, don't let anything shake you. Because we will receive and those is going to be a good payment. And God will uh, hug us. And he will show us uh, the, the things that he has promised us. And he will show us what he has Hallelujah. promised us. Hallelujah. May God give, give praise to God. And this, this is what we need to do for God. Because he will pay us. Those who have heard this word, may God bless you. Amen. We're going to pray. Uh, maybe there are many things that shook you and maybe took you from the position you were in it, it made you do things you weren't supposed to do so it's good for us to come here and pray and then do things and tell God that uh, God asked you to 